In this video, I'm going to talk about the loft feature in SolidWorks. Let's talk about the loft feature in SolidWorks. A loft will connect two closed profiles to each other, right? So typically you use it when you have two shapes that are not the same, right? So you have a circle and a square or a star and a circle or an ellipse some sort of odd transformation. So let me show you how it works. We need two planes that are a distance away from each other and parallel. So I'm gonna use the front plane to start out with and then I'll put in a reference plane. So let me do a sketch on this front plane. I'll make a square, right, something simple. I use center rectangle. So the center of this square is gonna be coincident with the origin. I'll do a smart dimension, I'll make it two inches, then I'll make the sides equal. Posing sides, apply the equal relation, we got a fully defined square. Exit sketch. Now I'm gonna go to an isometric view so I can see what I'm doing. I want to insert a plane that is parallel to this. The way I'm gonna do it, the first reference here will be the front plane. I'll come down here to distance, I'll make it four inches away. If I zoom out, I can see my new plane right here. If I need to go to the other side, I can do flip offset, offset, right? If I needed more than one reference plane, I can come down here and get as many as I need. You can loft multiple times, but for now we'll just be lofting from one profile to another. So I got my plane, good. Now I want to sketch a different shape on this plane. So I'm going to go to sketch, sketch, and then again we got to select the plane. I recommend come over to the feature tree, select that plane. Okay. I want to put a circle right on that origin, and I'll make the diameter two inches. Two. It's a simple shape, so I don't mind working in the isometric view. If it's something more complicated, you'd want to get normal to it. You want to use this view, right? So now I can see both of my shapes are lined up. They're both sharing an origin. I'll exit the sketch. Good to go. Now the easy part, right? The loft feature. It's going to be right over here in features, lofted ball space. Select it. I need to select the two profiles. I'm going to select this corner of the square and I'm going to select a corresponding point on that circle. Right, so now SolidWorks is going to figure out what it needs to do to connect these two shapes and make a, a smooth transition. So that's all we're going to do for that right now. I'll click OK and we're good. We have a, a squircle. 